hello family i just have a quick moment because i'm on my way somewhere and it looked like it is about to rain and i don't want to get caught in the rain um but i just wanted to stop by to say i hope you're having a wonderful afternoon uh i just want to just release on you to be excited about the new things and the new seasons that god is really allowing to take place in your life man this weekend is one of my favorite times of the year we're about to celebrate rosh hashanah which represents the new year now we do represent i do celebrate celebrate December the 31st and that is by our Gregorian calendar what we celebrate on a, a daily basis the calendar system that we go by but there is a divine timing that God has set also in the atmosphere and man this is one of those seasons that he's going to open up some portals and open up uh, windows of blessings that we cannot just have enough room to receive and so I am so excited about that and I just wanted to share that so if you are in a tough moment right now maybe some things are working for you maybe some things aren't working for you that has really no bearing about God's heart towards your life and towards your future it's not about evil uh, it's not just good but it's to give you an expected end and so going through some of those trials man they're all a part of your process but know that this weekend man I am celebrating and I hope that you are too that I have a new life in him so somewhere about 6 p.m. on Sunday, I will be taking my honey and I will have some bitter apples and I will be dipping them into it because God loves to take what has been bitter and to make it sweet. Man, you're about to enter a new season. This is the year of 5777 and it talks about being head of the year. Being head of the year is not about you showing your enemies because I got a new house or a new relationship or, you know, God's even given us a new church building that we're going to show somebody. No, it's not about that it's about allowing him to become head in you and I am doing that so I pray that you have a repentive time with him not just repentive that you have to go before uh, an altar or go before you know a minister and confess your faults and confess your sins that is necessary and it has its place but the one definition for repenting is just changing your mind because when you change your mind you can change your ways uh, I had a great revelation about how meat personally does to my body I didn't have have to stand before a priest and confess anything but when it changed my mind it has changed my ways and it has made my life fruitful and that's what I believe that God really wants from you he wants to make your life fruitful so anyway I'm celebrating we are embarking upon a great season and uh, I am excited I hope that you google it I will come back to talk about it uh, but it's called Rosh Hashanah it's about celebrating your new year, your new life in him, man, knowing that his will is going to be manifested in your life. So anyway, it's sprinkling. And I told you, I don't want to get caught in the rain. So, all right, you have a good one. Be blessed. Bye.